the starting group for the Grizzlies. What it is, YouTube, it's your boy Shop Dog coming at you with another 2K vid. And as you can see, I'm running with my newly acquired team, the Knicks. Let me just give y'all a quick rundown of what everything that went down uh, last year. We did go, I don't want to say last year, but last season, we did go to season two. We had the draft, we had the free agent signings. Everything went good, everything was a success. But after, you know, playing in a couple of games and seeing where everybody went as far as free agents, it was pretty unreal, but the whole thing was a learning process for us. So we took it as a big learning process as far as, you know, where players are going to sign, you know, who can sign who, you know, so one team just won't be stacked up. We're trying to keep this real as possible, you know, in this NBA today. So when I say NBA today, I really want to keep it, you know, only to where... Transaction that'll probably happen. I mean, some of them they won't happen in real life because some teams are playing good with certain players. But in 2K, you can make certain moves. But we just don't want to make. We don't want our players making uh just just crazy ass moves. You know, stuff that don't make no sense. Like you know, trading LeBron for fucking Danny Granger or some shit like that. So. We keep all those trades to a minimum. I don't want to get down into the, uh, the the rules of it, but we just decided that we'd rather just start over, start fresh, take that as a learning process because, you know, we never just been through a... Um, we never been to a second season because of 2K13 is either going to freeze up or the shit going to glitch. You already know it's rarely that. It's, it's very rare that you make it to a second season in 2K13. So we made it. We took it as a learning process. So now we're starting over. Now back to the game. Let me let y'all know what's going on. I have the Knicks. I done ran with the Nets. I done ran with the Jazz. I done did, you know, lower ranked teams or whatever. You know, teams that really won't make it anywhere in a real NBA. You know, there's pretty good teams, but you know they ain't really going too far. It's, it's as far as playoffs and, and, and you know things like that is concerned so I said I want to run with the Knicks I never played with the Knicks ever in my life so I said I want to run with Melo I want to run with Shumper Kid you know J.R. Smith I want to see what it is run with a pretty good team in the league because I always you know for the past couple of you know times whenever we start a draft I just want to pick lower ranked teams and have fun that way so now I have a, a go-to score in my hand something that I didn't have with the Jazz you know whatever I could get from Mo Williams or whatever I could get from Al Jeff you know that's what I got and you know the surrounding players that's around me if they hit it's cool but some of the times it really didn't hit and it hurt me so I said I wanted to run with the Knicks for the first time ever I never really just played with Melo before and believe it or not I probably ran with him in a rain game y'all see me if I playing with him but that's like five minutes of court I'm talking about playing with Melo for a long extended period of time so I don't said I'm gonna get down into the damn game but I'm playing the Grizzlies. Ace D Sensation, he's the um the winner of our last league. He won, you know, congratulations to him because I never had a chance to really just congratulate him. He did win the championship with the Warriors in last season. And he decided he's gonna take the Grizz. At this point, I am 3-0. and and he is 10 and 0. So both of us are just we undefeated right now. You ask me how did he get 10 and 0 with the fucking Grizzlies? I have no idea. The niggas the truth, man. I'm gonna give it to him. It's faggot ass. It's the truth. We know how to play the game because you know I don't know. I'm gonna give him credit. I'm gonna give credit to where his credit is due. But I'm you know he know how to play the game. So that's only the explanation I can give. We have the Grizzlies standing at 10 and 0 right now number one in the in the uh west so you know i had i felt a little pressure on this game you know whenever we play against each other it's pretty much a war so i just i really wanted this game i really wanted to win it you know i wanted to keep my little streak alive because i haven't gotten too many games in at this point you know at, at, at three and oh you know 10 and 0 and 3 and 0 that's a big ass difference so i just really want to keep my little streak going for as long as i could and you know he's standing at 10 and 0 just knocking down everybody but i said i came in this game i said let's see what we can do i have a better team i have a better score now and carmelo anthony on this game and I really want to see what it was like just to run with a go-to score because, you know, I only had, if I go have a go-to score, it's really Kobe when I'm playing with the Lakers, but I ain't played with them in so long, so I don't even know what that's like no more. But I can't really see the score. I just know we down. I was down the whole first half. You see right there, he just knocked a damn three down in my fucking face like I wasn't even nowhere near him. But uh, that's the first half, man. I'm still down. I, if I can see, I'm down by seven right now. But, you know, I said I ain't going out like no bitch. You know, HD, he like to blow niggas out, you know, and get your confidence down. But 
And that's even with the damn Grizzlies. He's blowing people out with the fucking Grizzlies. I don't understand it. But I said, oh, I have a go-to score. I have a very good team in the Knicks. So I need to go ahead and fight back and get back into this game. Because once you go down against him, it's hard to bring the shit back up. Because of Fuck nigga don't he don't miss man he don't miss at all for some reason he shoot like 85 percent for the whole damn game he don't miss at all and he don't go to the paint if he's gonna get points in the paint it's probably like if he score 100 he's probably gonna get like 10 points in the paint other than that he's shooting threes and mid ranges and i mean they going down like 90 percent of the time it's like you really can't you can't guard it he had these players with brick wall you know and and I said I have to get Melo going in this uh, second half. You see right here, we getting a little, trying to get a little run going, getting our crowd behind us. But uh, you see right here, we playing real good. You gonna see my defense just come alive in the second half. You see right here, Melo knocked down that big three. I mean, I'm trying to get back into this game. And watch this, watch this defense off in the play. Yeah, I went into the faggot ass uh, zone. I'm not gonna say which zone it was. You probably know by just by looking at it. But just look at this defense I'm playing. I'm playing the zone, but I am playing all on ball. I'm like, come on. I'm fronting him. I got him. Like I'm telling, you, I got him, coach. Don't even trip. I got him right here. You see right here, he's bringing the ball back out, passing out, making these long ass passes. I'm still standing in front of him. Everybody, look how we just closing off on everybody. He shoots the ball, punk ass point guard, get the damn rebound back. And you know HD, man. You can't give him second chances. And Tayshawn, Geico, Lizard, looking ass. Tayshawn Prince knocked down that um, mid-range shot. So I was like, man, I played real good D for that whole possession. And for me to lose it off of, you know, a second chance. You see right here. I don't know how the fuck. Jason Kidd knocked this shit down. I was like, okay, I guess, uh, you know, I work real hard for the last possession. I guess the 2K guards looked out for me. Let me knock that one down with Kidd. So, you know, we fighting back. We just going back and forth right now. You see right here? He just, he pressuring me the whole time. So, I'm going I'm to try to get past him. Give back out. Pass it back out to Felton. Felton goes to the rack real strong. So if I can see, man, y'all know I can't see the damn score right now. So don't think I'm crazy if I just yell out, you know, wrong scores and shit. But at this point, I was down. I was up by two, I think. I can't really see. But you see we right here? We're just playing real good D, man. And I decided to not just show my plays as far as, you know, I, the, the screen comes up as far as my plays. But I, I'm, I decided, you know, not to show my plays every time I get, um... Every time I call him. But we're just having a bad shooting game this whole game. And I mean, it's just was mellow. It was just everybody. We just really we really couldn't hit any shots. See, see Steve Novak. He takes his time and knock down that uh, free throw jumper. But I, I call plays for everybody. But it just seemed like no matter how good I set them up, they just wasn't knocking the shots down. You see right here, it's the end of the third. We have the lead going into the fourth quarter. And we're up by four right now going into the fourth. So I'm like, okay, I know Melo has the closing signature. I know he has some fourth quarter uh, signature skill. I know Jason Kidd has Floyd Jenner on diamonds. So that makes everybody on the floor around him better. You see right here, he just bats off him. He try to read my play. HD try to read my play and I just dropped his ass off from three point range just all in his eyes. HD, I hope you're watching this and just seeing your mistakes that you made because look at this defense I'm playing. I got my hands up. He passing it to the post. He tried to spin off of me, but we right there. Bring that shit back out, HD, because it ain't working. Look at that little spin shit. We look at that. Get that shit out of here, HD. Good D. Good D. You see right here, we finna get the Man, J.R. Smith smashing it. Smash. HD, look at this game, dude. Look at this game and look at this fucking D. Because, I mean, we was all over you, nigga. We was just smothering you right now, man. It just, I mean, the defense that I was playing was real beautiful. I mean, I'm looking at it now. And he's like, right there, start of my, the elbow jumper, just beautiful. I mean, the th I mean the elbow, the elbow with Stoudemire, man, it's just beautiful, man. That nigga can knock down mid-range shot. Look at it, look at the D, look at the D. Get it out. You already know who I'm going to. Melo, Melo, give it off to J Kid. J Kid, throw up the layup. HD, you see where you made your mistakes at? 
Cause I know I gotta play you again in this season and I know this shit is gonna be a hard ass fight. But for right now, I'ma go ahead and enjoy my little, you know, whatever my little run I'm making right now. Cause we playing real good deal. We in that faggot ass zone, I think, right now. But we still playing on ball D. Look, we that should have been a steal. But I don't know how he got that shot off. But he get that he barely get that shot off. But the defense, we right there though. I wasn't even mad at that because I'm like, yeah, man. I'm like, even though he got that little shit off at the last second, we right there, we right with him. So I'm proud of my team, man. I'm loving this damn Knicks team. And y'all don't fuck up by giving me a damn go-to score and mellow, man. This is what I'm talking about right here. Some point you have to just turn and get back defensively. But it was just a good ass game, man. I know I gotta face this nigga again later on in the season. And it's gonna be a hard fall game. He made some new additions. And look at this. HD, I know yeah, I have had to pause it because HD was making them fuck nigga moves. You know that that little stank ass move with that I don't know who the hell that who was that with that that nigga had a big ass body. I don't know who the fuck that was, but that nigga was so big, man. He did a little half spin into the into the basket. Yeah, man, HD you need to go on with that fuck shit, man. I, I, but look, you know, it's look how we rebounded. I had to bag it up. I had to bag it up. I said, look, we ain't got, we ain't got to rush it. We got the ball. We got the lead. Let's take our time. I try to call a play, but I already know he reading all my passes. So I said, let me go ahead and get passes. They can shoot this elbow jumper in his face. HD. It feels good to beat you because the last time you blew me out by 20, you bitch. So it just feels good to win this game. That's why right. he trying to knock down. You know, HD, you know, he didn't want to feel like he got beat the whole game. You know, he trying to make the score look respectable. But look, the score was bigger than what it really was. You know what I mean? He just knocked down some threes at the end to make the shit look like he was real close. HD, you ain't fooling nobody, though. I'm just saying. I hate to bust your bum and have to put y'all like that. But. You got lucky and knocked down a couple threes and made the score look a little bit respectable, but it was a good one, man. Last time a nigga blew me out by 20, man, I had to get my damn revenge. I said, fuck this shit, I ain't trying to lose against this nigga. I had this nigga think that every time he go against me, it's just a straight up dump. No, I can't do it. Not me, not ever. It's your boy Shaw I'm signing out, man. Y'all have a good one. The boy Melo was a player of the game. Enjoy the music. Rapper, soccer, hacky sacker, cocky, khaki, jacket, jacker, slap, happy, faggot, slapper, whoop, whoop, a rocky rocket launcher, shake that lefty, taffy, jolly, raunchy rapper. Dang, 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 ski, 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 she do that thing. The three retweets the album, feel like 92, and take that bump for his three peak. Chance, whole I said, cruising on that LSD. Ask Joseph about my deal, he look back, say, hell yeah, let's see. This shit, my favorite song, you just don't know the words, but I still fuck with you, you just they never heard. It Go like count that stack, pop that captain down that jack. All my niggas hit that zip, and all my ladies got that bitch. My jam, this my jam, this my jam, this my jam. About that jam, about that jam, about that jam, about that jam. This my jam, this my jam, this my jam, this my jam. About that jam, about that jam, about that jam, about that jam.